popped in, but when I told her that you'd gone to Oost, Alster, she wanted to stay to hear what it was like. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, stand, standing in just my pants. Yeah. You looked so nervous before you left. Did I was you wear laughing. I couldn't find any. No. So you were on pants. Just so standing in my boxer shorts. Oh, no boxer shorts. Boxes. No. I don't wear budgies. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, what did, I don't even know if they know what my problem is, do they? Well, probably. You've probably told them at some point. So what was your problem? What did the you say is, to them? Why not? Because I had this terrible, I've got a terrible pain in the knuckle. Of my dodgy toe. The knuckle, is that? The, 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 the joint. The joint, the, yeah, the yeah. ball joint. Uh, yeah, the ball joint. And it was before Christmas, it was making me oh, have a pain in my hip so badly. So she said it was a couple of things. She thinks I've got inflammation in the joint and still from the virus I had at Christmas. She said, so it could be. I think it was COVID actually. So it could be collateral damage from that. But she said that aggravated by the fact that she said you say you didn't do any exercise for 10 days she said the irony of that is, is that your body's used to exercise yeah. so she said what's happened is your body's kind of gone it's just it's you're just tight you know there might be a kind of inflammation or injury there of some form anyway but she said because your exercise is keeping it going yeah you don't she, feel she it. said you're not feeling she said, this is a good old argument for when people get older they should keep moving because she said you've literally demonstrated in two weeks so she said there's that that and and she says there is some arch issue, but she doesn't agree with having arches. No, neither does it. No. But she said it's probably been inflamed by the fact that you had an illness, and that you for in three years. She said it's the in th over three years. It was the longest period of time I hadn't done a workout. So for Christmas, she wow. said it's too odd that it's come up in those two weeks. So what did she Exercise say about your neck? Exercise more, stretch more. She What's said I just need to have lots more sex, which I thought was inappropriate. Tina. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Blow that whistle. No. Oh, oh, oh no. That really hurt my ears. I don't know, but let's hope it's somebody with a horrible infection that you've now got. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, my ears are actually Vile hurting. Disease. Vile person. Vile's disease. <laughs> <laughs> so if you could give him any disease, you'd give him vile. Vile's disease, that's horrible. <laughs> What do you want, Chi Chi? They said you get wild Hello. disease. Hello. <laughs>
You could put fire on your forehead and put cease next to your face. Mm -hmm. How about That's that? Picky. I wish I could put like a peace dove on my face. Yeah. But you have to be young to do that, or is it just going in the cracks? We could put, we could get one, kill it, stuff it, and attach it to your head. Mm -hmm. How about that? going to see what is the film we're going to see we're going to see all of us strangers which is the andrew scott paul mescal film so as well as everything else Nat, we might be on the car you might be next to paul mescal saying ceasefire that'd be kind of well, funny if we're on the carpet with paul mescal we will not be being photographed well if we're, we're on the out if you're on the carpet with paul mescal plant your hand on his face and it'll print it say ceasefire on his face but anyway it's supposed to be very good this film also claire foy is there you know from the crown ceasefire i got such a i got such a word be so weaponized sort of deeply ironic isn't it the word ceasefire. can you stop killing innocent people it's actually saying stop yeah <laughs> And I'll, I will be attacked saying, can you please stop killing loads of innocent people and starving them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I imagined, kind of thickening it in. And that makes your face. Yeah. Yeah. Bring them so that they're less facing outwards. Like they bring that set, that's always better. Was it? Yeah. So, if I'm brutally honest, I find these things toe-curlingly stressful and embarrassing. Not because, just because, because you actually, you don't know where to put yourself when it gets to the red carpet bit and they're all squealing for now. So, what I tend to do is step out of the way, let her get the photograph taken. Now, because she's got the ceasefire thing, um, hopefully I'll be able to get an angle on it. And it'd be funny, because if, if no one picks it up, they might not, there might not be anyone there. Um, then we can show it to you. Oh, so we've got a storm coming in. Oh my God, can you hear the crowds? Oh my God, it's gonna, you know why? It's bloody Paul Mescal, isn't it? That's what it's all about, babe. Paul Mescal. Oh. Yes, otherwise I'll have cease on my finger. Cease and desist. Oh, look, 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 let me show you on the long lens. There's, there's lots of photographers. It's a very red carpet. So we've come into the National Theatre to have a stiff vodka before we go. Obviously, I haven't. I've just had a stiff. <laughs> but, um, it's busy. Trying to work out whether to go live on the popcorn junkies Instagram. We're leaving the National. I'm going to turn you around in a minute. You'll be able to see behind the scenes of the crowd waiting for Miss Sawala to arrive. <laughs> They're, oh, look, there they are, look, look. So anyway, in a minute, I'm going to go live on the Popcorn Junkies and then we're going to rip that and use it here. I've forgotten the name of the film. God. What's it called? All of us strangers. All of us are strangers. Here you go. Brown side. Yeah, I think they've just seen Paul Mescal. Yeah. Just get the tickets out. Okay.
all the scale in the same shot as you. The only time you're going to be in it with a close-up. <laughs> I made your broccoli pasta in the house. Did you know <laughs> And they're going to do a bit of a chat. All I'm obsessed with is we didn't get popcorn for chocolate. And, and the person's to mark eight is chocolate. I'm going to go and ask for some more. I need to starving. Oh, I think they're coming. I think they're, they're coming. coming. Stars are coming down now. So this is uh, Claire Foy. Paul Mescal. so much everybody for for coming out uh, I think when you see the film uh, you'll recognize something which is that this film was made with such love there was not a moment on the set that wasn't it was a couple of tense moments <laughs> but it was it, it was such a beautiful beautiful atmosphere uh, but I, I think it's fair to say that none of this extraordinary gift um, uh, of a film uh, that the world is going to see would be possible without our beloved leader, Andrew Hay. And we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how much, uh, how, how, how just singular and brilliant and brave and beautiful uh, his imagination is, and uh, uh, it's reflected in, in, in his, 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 his uh, humanity as well. So um, we're so excited for you to see the film and for everyone to see it. If you like it, please tell me. And thank you so much and um, enjoy. What a night. What a night. Oh my god, the girls are gonna die when you tell oh them. Oh my god. First of all, this. First and foremost, the film is fantastic. Yeah, we'll be doing our review. The performance was incredible. Um, Andrew just, Scott, oh my god. You did really god. feel like you were in a very we were in a very privileged position. Oh my with god, you. I mean to hang be on. there with the actors when they came on the end. Yeah. Clifford was crying. No, Clifford was crying. They were all hugging. It was it was like an Beautiful. event for them. It was a massive was event for them. It was like a really incredible experience. Just incredibly so incredibly emotional. Yeah. An incredibly sort of tiny almost gathering for that experience. I know. Quite quite like we yeah. 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 Really beautiful. But anyway. They're probably all in these cars. Now. We're now gonna. Oh, plop. They haven't left us alone all night. No, I know. Oh yeah, here they are. Oh, they're about to come out. So team, off to see Nanny Die, take Nanny Die for a second set of MRI scans, bless her. We're trying to work out why she's feeling so weird and so odd and dizzy and why there's a disconnect between her, her brain, her legs and well, yeah mum, you know, we need to just work shit out. So she's had a couple of MRI scans because we're taking her to have a couple more. Um, so we'll be vlogging a few bits and bobs here and there wherever Nanny Die feels like it. And only if Nanny Die feels like it. Have you got to that age where you 
tentatively take steps down. I have. It's weird. You're not quite so sure-footed, are you? You could slip. You need a twinge. You'll be feeling the love, Mum. Everyone on the live this morning was saying, sending love, can't wait to see you on the channel more, Nan. And I have something to say specifically to a girl named Layla, who I bumped into coming home from school yesterday. And her face beamed into a smile and Aww. she said, oh, hello. She's the girl, what's, what are you looking at? On the side of your head. What is it? Girl on the side of your head, Mum, it's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I know what that is. It's coffee. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Layla. So you said hello. She said hello to you. And I said I couldn't remember your name when she said it's Layla. I said I knew it began with L. Where am I? No, oh, no. Yeah. Maybe it's just a shadow. No, no. It's. Oh, Maddie. Um, so I said, oh, Fleur. Did you watch and see? She said, Yeah. You said you couldn't remember my name. Oh, Mum. And then um. And I was telling a lovely, lovely company that sent us this that you, you're putting this in pride of place yeah, look no, guys no, I just haven't had a chance it's been yeah, a busy no, week without it's been a busy week man yeah, I mean, oh look it's like one of those slot machines mum you know when you put coins in and it pushes them all off I know oh look have you got birds in did I get you that yeah I love those birds or did you nick it no you gave it to me I'm joking Put it there, just lean it against your yeah but then you don't get used yeah. I have to take you off every time I do too Where's Forky? Oh, there's a cluster fuck over here, Mum. What's going? Oh, I feel sick. What's this? Oh, oh, oh. All right. What's that? Oh. Is that a nipple? It's murder keeping it going. Um, murder on the dance floor. Murder on the dance floor. That's what they play oh. as he runs the. Oh, watch Saltburn again. And. I didn't hate like, it as much as I did the that's first That's what the girls time. say. Yeah. The girls say it gets better. Well, the more you see it, yeah. the more the film goes on. The more on. you see it. How, long, how many times have they seen it? Kiki's seen it three times. Has she? Yeah. yeah I can understand that. She loves it's full it. of good looking people, yeah. isn't it? Um, Where are we going today, Mum? We're going to Mile End Hospital. For more MRI scans. Yes. And um, and that's in Bancroft Road. And so it's the very first library I ever worked at in London was what called Central Library in Bancroft Road. Oh, so you know it well. Although, she, well, not that well, because I was living in Nottingham. Oh, that's true. Yeah. But, um, How are your feet? I'm very nervous. I've gone all shaky, shaky, oh, which mom. is ridiculous, oh, I know. Funny little thing, aren't you? Do you have any nail scissors? Yes. Oh. I also Oh, have. look how many scissors you have got. <laughs> oh, my God, so many scissors and nail clippers. Is the best nail clipper there is. Are they? On the planet? Yeah. Really? Do you want... Do you Can want... I borrow it? Yeah. Thanks. Um, That's it. Okay. So, yeah, MRI scan. To discover that you're not Parkinson's, hopefully. Or cancerous, it would seem. That would be the good news. Oh, and has people been... Um, yeah, they're oh. sending all the best. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah. Oh, look at this Kiki. Oh, cute baby. What cute baby? With, a, with a pin through her forehead. Right so, through her quiff. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Look, I got, I've got. i only seen this uh, bees in the Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, my mum is absolutely right. These are some of the most astonishing nail clippers I've ever used in my life. Wow, they look like a locust. It looks like the monster from Alien. Yeah, I do know your horrible toenail, Mum. Well, I tried to forget it. I've got some stuff that you have to put on it, but the girl in the chemist said to me, here, try these. Oh, thanks, Mum. Those, Mum, those are great. I think I'll always... Oh, they're for your feet. That means I've put your feet all over my hands. Pro foot. Oh, thanks, Mum. That's what Mums are for, isn't it? Things like toenail clippers. Stamps. You got a stamp? I always used to ask my mum for a stamp. Can't post letters anymore. It's controversial. All right, mum. We're heading off in a minute. Ah, I love the colours in your flat, mum. There's so many colours. The colours are so colourful. He just asked if uh, you'd like a wheelchair. Oh, God. Uh, you said no. Look at you, you're walking quite well, Mum. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh,
So it's only where we're here. here when it was just my feet. Just your feet? My foot after the flamenco, it all went wrong. I was saying it's like that song, Them Bones, Them Bones. <laughs> yeah, I mean, your bones are notorious in the East. Mm. East? East London. Not in the East, not in Russia. Anyway, oh, we need a Costa or we need a cafe as well. Oh, they might have one in here. Because <gasps> we're early. It's quite nice it's here, isn't it? Limited, or really? Just just do it's MRIs. <laughs> yeah, last time we were in hysterics because we thought neurology was urine... Yeah. Urinology. Exactly. Yeah, you've definitely got coffee on the side of your face. Oh, but... I haven't. <laughs> have I? Yes. Well, get it off. <laughs> oh, it's the imaging department. God, flipping heck, you all right? It's not. Oh, Mum. You should have cut it in a wheelchair. How dare you? God, you can't win, can you, with old people? <laughs> Imaging department. Say hello, Mum. Hello. Mm. Have you done it? No, I haven't. It's not particularly busy, is it, Mum? <laughs> So what's your biggest worry about getting in there? Wearing a gown and your bum showing? Yeah, no, I don't know. I'm actually it's walking just... with real purpose today. Am I? Yeah, marching. I feel on the edge of getting the moving. Oh, mum. Well. Could be the stripes on your top. Shit. Oh, mum, when are we going to stop green finger hell again? We never, we never when are you giving the all clear? We can crack on. Yeah, we can. Bounce your foot again, mum. Don't run your veins. Huh? It's so vivid. So vivid. Oh my god, it's like a diagram in one of those books and at here. school. And down here. Oh my god, I know. God, I wonder if I'm going to get that. No. That's what kid, all kids think when they see their parents get something. They go, am I going to get that? Yeah, no, you won't. You're a boy. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe feel a bit queasy, mum. Then on that escalator, it was quite bad. This was many years ago when we were going to New York and she was drunk and she threw herself down. Where was it? No, bank. it wasn't. Were yeah, you drunk? Through bank. I had had a drink, it's true. She collapsed all the way down. That's why she's got the claw scars. Yeah. Those are those three scars on Nan's head are actually the um the escalator, the escalator steps. steps. But she was with her girlfriend, was Liz with you? We were meeting at somewhere, probably at bank. And then I came out on a, on a stretcher. On a, did they call the ambulance? Yeah, of course. So did they, they close did. the station? They had to close the escalators. <sighs> I must have passed out. How long ago was this? Well, I was looking up Liz's dates and she's been, she died four years ago. Mm. So it must be more like about. 15 years ago, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're in. Yeah. It's just funny that this great big gammon head, I don't, mean, I don't want to talk literally about it, but, but yeah, that she even gave birth. Tiny little bit. Oh, they're weighing her. She's so small, but so veiny. It's kind of slightly made me feel a bit sick and a bit concerned. It's like, it's like all of the, it's like her bones, her sinew, her ligaments tendons and her veins are trying to sit on the outside of her skin. Maybe that's what she's got. Maybe she's got reverse disease. Maybe she's got inside out disease. She wants to be inside out. Her bones want to come out. Her veins want to pop out. Everything about, just she's got inside out disease. It's a bit, it's a bit sick there. I had a boost chocolate and it's made me feel a bit sick. Here she comes. So tell me, tell us up. So, so dry. Oh, mum. He says that's normal. Was it fun? Shut up. Hold Was on. it loud? Can't speak. Yeah, very, very loud. Oh, you your veins. Can you? Can you turn ya? Chug it. Just got the coffee out of my eyebrow when you were getting your food. Oh, it good. was masses. Yeah, huge amount. What you was had... I thinking? That eye was a double espresso. <laughs> and there was no milk cappuccino on the right. Mm. So, was that fun? They seem very friendly. Did yeah. you have a locker? Yeah, because I had to forget about my brother. Oh, man. Um, so, I'm just going to put my coat on because I can't be bothered to go through the ritual of putting my bra on. It's okay. Um, was it fun though? 
Is it interesting? Don't you think this is weird? What? The first time so this is right, so this is the second MRI scan I've had. Yeah. Both times. The first one was my skull and my neck. Mm. This one is my upper back and lower back. They're trying to get a collection. I'm collecting <laughs> all of the stickers. No, but both times they've absolutely been so strict over de delineating the separateness of the two scans. Uh, Why would that be? Because your body... For funding. Do you think it's for funding? Funding? Well, you know, I would well, imagine no, that costs a fortune what they've just done to me. Well, they're just looking at the different parts of your body you don't know. And each part of your body's called something. Yeah, but why? Why? I mean, it says things your... like 145 and 205 for one. So one's 20 minutes and one's 20 minutes. Why mm. would they separate it like that? Because oh, it's different parts of your body. Because when he came and said, that's it, you've done very well, and I said, is that both of them? And he said, yes, but there's no separation between the two, so mm. how do you know? Well, I suppose he's... You know what I'm saying? No, I've got a clue. No, I thought I'm humouring you. I think they're just. I, sort of, I think there's a camera in there. They're yeah. just pushing it around. Not careful. Thank you. I like your quiff. What have you done with your hair? I bet you it's funding, Mark. Oh dear. I'm pleased yeah. you've come out thinking about funding. <laughs> <laughs> is it nice once you're in the tube? No, it's not. No. Is it loud? It is loud. Oh, they, it's not that loud. Do they put headphones on? Yeah. Do they? Yes. Yeah, they put block goggles. Out the noise. Do they put goggles on? But also they. Um... Do they put flip flops on. Your, your car is nothing compared to the heat, the seats oh, is really? nothing, I can feel the heat on my back. I suppose it's taking the x-ray. Do you have to wear sandals? Shut up. Oh, I can't do this because The thing that distinguishes us from apes, Mum, is our ability to use our thumb and forefinger, which you seem to be losing. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're becoming a spider monkey. Do you know what, Mark? About three years ago, I remember thinking, the most important thing on my body is my hands. Your thumbs and forefingers. If I lost them, it seems oh, to be that I'm losing it by the second. Oh, so drink again. Drink. So team, it's been 15 minutes since Nan came out. <laughs> She's packed a bag three times. She's gone into the loo. That exhausted her. She'd come back out, had a drink, put a stick up, lost, so, a, lost a piece of the paper, so zipped her coat up. It makes me laugh so much that I had to I said, it's no wonder you can't fit much in the day, Mum, because let me take your bag. Oh, come on. Thank you. Um, it takes her ages. I mean, this is just a small little area by the toilets. Spent 20 minutes there, Mum. You're tired. Well, I just Tires you out, doesn't it? It's the expectation. Yeah. And the disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's anticlimactic, isn't it? Let's face it. Oh. Sorry. That was my dream. <laughs> I mean, basically, you've come somewhere, took your bra off, and done what? It's weird. Here she comes. Listen, Come on, Mum. Say hello to the subs. Come on, you can do it. I'm going to speed you up from here, Mum. Subs. I'm home. You're home. Just sometimes get in and just say, oh, I love it. I do. Do you? Often. Oh, okay. It's just exactly right for me. Oh. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wow. Well. I'm going to have a nice cup of tea. Nice cup of tea. You want a cup of tea? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. That's all right. It's been easy, isn't it, really? Yeah, I'm a living example of not taking drugs and not drinking too much. This is what crack cocaine does to your kids. Check it out. <laughs> you might be smoking on a crack pipe, guys, but this is where you end up. <laughs> with, with a book of art on the floor. Keep it a carpet on. Oh, Mum, you got a little quiff in your hair. It looks really sweet. Oh, it's so funny. Oh. The floor bent down immediately to pick yeah. it up because it flew up. And I'm pleased to see you've removed the espresso that was on your top left eyebrow. These subs won't understand that. Well, they will because they'll have seen it. Okay, I'll, I'll put your bag in here, shall I, Mum? Thanks, sir. It's not quite sound to go with. Do you want your key? Do you want your Jesse key? Right. <laughs> it's a well positioned drink. Look, 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 look. Mum, you're basically a tube. <laughs> you just pass water through you. I do. <laughs> it's 
I'll, I'll have one, Mum. How are you, Miss Ridley? I'll have four. Thanks, Mum. Okay, Mum, I'm off. Oh. How you doing? I feel a bit trembly, that's why. Oh, yeah, go and lie down. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna be all right. Your granddad there. Yeah. Sometimes you sound like. Yeah. Oh, you have to fall in that. Yeah, and no, I'll turn There's it around. There's your red man with my Oh, mom. I know. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go, Mum. Oh, okay. I love, love you lots. I love you. You lots. all right? You're gonna be okay. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh okay. my shoulders. All right. Keep saying shoulders. Down. Shoulders, Mum. Yeah. Maybe I should get the new one or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think So, Mum. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! You. That's what Nanny Doe was talking about there. So, Granddad, Nanny Doe's dad, my grandfather. Yeah. That's my nan. Aww. Yeah. All right, Marcia. Oh, okay. Bye. 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 <laughs>